Yo, what is going on, everybody? It is Tristan. We got this room recording started. We're outside today. It's a beautiful day. Um, really couldn't turn down making a video outside. Again, I was here yesterday. I'm back. Uh, yeah, it's really nice. So we're back. I, I, you know, I'm gonna keep repeating myself. Uh, I guess, but yeah, let's just get started. Let's get into this. What we're gonna be discussing in this video is the how to cop for the Kobe 4 Girl Dad since we actually do have a decent amount of raffles for this. However, there isn't a lot of actual drop locations, like a lot of places that we're gonna be doing like a, a first come, first serve or in-person raffle is not many locations that are, you know, doing that or they're just there just isn't you know i'll show you all that in this video and i'm gonna try and you know be a little bit less messy with my speaking let's just get into it though if y'all want more content like this feel free to check out my instagrams any of that down below i'm always buying and selling here uh i do trades occasionally i'm slowing down on that a little bit right now but y'all can hit me up you know still a little bit if you want to trade just give me a little bit to get back to it because i've gotten a lot of trade offers recently so um I gotta make sure I finish my first couple I'm doing right now before I get into more. But yeah, hit me up here if you ever want to do anything, and uh, check out my project I got here on the way on this page. Uh, a lot of deals will be coming very, very soon. Just stay tuned here. It'll be like a little group community type thing. Just don't miss out. Uh, yeah, so deals on this page. Regular reselling is on this page. So feel free to check that out. And uh, yeah, just subscribe and like for more. It's trying to 200 on this video. That's a normal goal. Just lets me know that hey, we need more how-to cops on the channel. So make sure you're doing them. That's all that lets me know. But why don't we dive into this? So the first thing I want to discuss. We'll discuss the resale next, but. As you guys can see, these have loaded for June 7th at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Now, first things first, the main drop locations for the shoot are going to be Foot Locker and also Sneakers. Sneakers is going to have the most stock. I don't see Foot Locker out. You know, obviously, they're not going to send, you know, more pairs there than they would right to Sneakers app. You can see $190 retail, 10 a.m. Eastern time, drop time. So that's going to be, you know, for West Coast, 7 a.m. But overall, really nice details on the sneaker. Like, you got kind of this, uh, I, it, I don't know why I was comparing it to this, but I was. it reminded me of, like, the Statue of Liberty. You got, like, this kind of, like, Statue of Liberty or kind of like this, like, um, greenish suede that's on the sneaker really really nice kind of um I, I don't know I think that makes the sneaker fit a little bit more I really like how that contrasts off the you know orange insole even though you don't see it uh, also is really nice touch with the black laces and black swoosh and also the translucent sole see-through soles again you're gonna win me over every single time with that I love see-through soles I love translucent soles just kind of like this brighter blue um, look like you know I just I think it looks super fresh on kicks and I love when they add it to Kobe's SB's you know you name it you put icy soles in something I'm probably copping so this is definitely one of those ones that I think is probably actually I mean, I don't know if this is a stretch. I think this is one of the better made Kobe releases from this year. I'll try and get an early review out. I got a couple other ones I'm doing this week, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this one early. I'll probably still get some sort of review on it, uh, review out in it though, but the quality is crazy. I mean, and from the embroidery to the suede quality, just a really well done sneaker all around. And also you got kind of this uh, reflective portion on the heel here, has the signature on it. And then also uh, you can see the 24, which is also by the heel right there. Doesn't say anything else, just really has a signature there. And this is just kind of that reflective chrome look uh by the heel but just such a you know nice shoe i think people are going to really like this one for the personal collection but also to wear on the court but it's one of those Kobe's where you're actually seeing them, uh, you know, trying to promote it as just being a wearable shoe, just a, you know, a shoe you wear around. We're kind of getting back into those times where people are just wearing like Kobe's and KD's and different shoes like that casually. A lot of people are just wearing them casually, you know, because they're retro in a lot of those models that people used to wear like that, you know, in high school, stuff like that. Um, so now since we're seeing that, you know, I, I'm noticing that Nike is trying to make sneakers that are almost not like exclusively for the court you know what i mean like th this feels more like a shoe that you would just wear around rather than one that you would wear on a basketball court maybe i'm tripping by saying that let me know uh that's what i feel like with the design of this sneaker they're like intentionally trying to make it as just a shoe that's generally worn uh by anybody not just someone again that's hooping on the court so maybe i'm tripping by saying that but i think that's what nike's trying to go for with this sneaker we'll see how much stock they produce so if they keep it limited then yeah you know it'll be you go have to pay up for it because right now these are actually going for some really good bread no shocker because it's a really clean shoe obviously the sizes that are going to be going for less we see this with pretty much all kobe's before they release uh hopefully my screen recording didn't just glitch there hold up all right so i was able to get a new screen recording started sorry about that um sometimes it just cuts out so i gotta, <laughs> I gotta restart it sometimes so you guys can see the current resale prices Small sizes going for less, no shocker. We see this again with all Kobe's before they release pretty much. Uh, just the smaller sizes tend to leak first and people, there isn't as many buyers for them. So the market gets pushed down lower until again, there's more buyers, uh, you know, whenever they, you know, whatever price it meets at, you know what I mean? Usually for like a seven or eight, it's pretty close to retail. Now it'll probably be the same for these. They'll probably get pretty close to retail price. However, for the bigger sizes, I'm talking pretty much nine plus or eight and a half plus, they're not going to be getting that close to retail. You know what I mean? Like they're probably going to keep these a bit more limited, especially the bigger sizes, like 11 plus. Those are going to be the ones that I would especially target if you're mainly looking to flip this shoe, but also uh, for anybody, you know, that is wearing any of those sizes, you know, 11 plus, I'm going to say good luck with this release because it is going to be harder to get. I'm sure of
of that. Uh, there will not be as many of Foot Lockers, but also on the Sneakers app. We'll probably see that when we have the stock numbers officially. Um, so I apologize for that, but it looks like size 12. You know, people aren't going too crazy about that. Maybe this is just an error right now, but sometimes we see that we're with one of the bigger sizes, uh, they'll actually have a decent amount of stock. Like sometimes with Travis Scott lows, we'll see size 13 uh, have a lot of stock. You know, like with the fragment lows, you can go look. Size 13 goes for like a thousand less than all the other sizes. I don't know why that is. Um, there's just a lot more size 13. So, I mean, that's, you know, a benefit if you really like fragment lows and there you go. I mean, you can go get those for a lot cheaper than you normally could. Uh, and that could be something that would happen with this sneaker. I don't think it will because, you know, people will probably keep the bigger sizes selling higher because, I mean, they can make more money for uh, from it. And, uh, you know, the average person that will probably be getting this shoe will be a more experienced reseller. I don't see a lot of people that are very, like, new to shoes getting this sneaker because, uh, again, they're probably going to keep it limited. There's not going to be a lot of dubs for it. Mainly going to be, you know, through Foot Locker. So the people that are really be getting it through there is going to be the employees you know what i mean you don't see it <laughs> yeah i'm just being honest you know what i mean i'm not knocking anybody that's working at Foot Locker. by the way if you're working at Foot Locker and you backdoor a pair or two i mean hey bro as long as you're doing your job and helping people out daily i don't i don't care you know what i mean i feel like that's how most people feel about it you know um but yeah aside from that the resale on these uh yeah i honestly think we could probably see in between and again this is for the smaller sizes so don't expect the big sizes to head here uh, 250 dollars this is mainly gonna be for like seven and eight and six so 250 to a range of about 400 dollars i'm gonna put them plus because i do think some of the big sizes we see here like 11 11 and a half 12 one of the ones that are floating close uh, to 400 right now uh, I can see those going back up again if they keep this shoe limited. I mean these will quickly uh, You know return to 450. I mean we saw that with the Italian camos people were not playing there um, Yeah, I mean those ones made some great progress and there's also been some other you know sneakers recently lightning 17s um, I'm trying to name there. There's one that like I was really talking about it, talking about it yesterday. How am I forgetting this? I mean, the Chicago SBs are a pretty good buy. Yeah, Futurers have been making some progress. Canaries and like larger sizes, those have been doing pretty decent. Talked about that like three or four days ago on the channel in my like weekly pickups video. So I didn't want to, you know, go over them again in another in depth video. Hopefully that makes sense because we've discussed the Canaries enough. You can go watch the seller hold uh on that one so yeah that's my resale prediction i see them doing pretty good they're obviously obviously not going to be a brick like it's one of the more hyped kobe's from this year so i feel like everybody knows that um but yeah if not then there you go now you know so aside from that a couple of the raffle locations one um oh yeah no we're not checking out discount codes thank you uh random website you can see plenty of sneakers uh releases and a few online raffles i will try and link this down below in the pinned comments so you guys won't miss out on this uh so you can see again few online raffles few global ones don't miss out on that uh, you can also hear again to my guys at Raffle Sneakers, most a lot reliable guys. You know, I've been using these one. Uh, I've been using them for a while. Like I'm gonna be honest, we've definitely been having them in some how-to cops before. But you can see a few raffles, not as many as you normally see for Kobe. So this is another indicator I want you all to see. There's not as many raffles as there normally would be for a Kobe release. Another thing that's telling me, hey, this shoe might be a little bit more limited. Like I haven't seen, you know just consistent raffles for these they are hitting Foot Locker locations so hopefully it'll be a decent amount of spots I, I did see that my local Foot Locker was one of the locations that was getting these so uh i'll go chat with them just kidding but you know hey maybe <laughs> no, I'm, I'm kidding i'm kidding they would not rock with that um dick sporting goods a little bit more chill i think i don't know yeah you know it, it's like i'm not gonna go harass the employees but like hey yo i know y'all got these right now let me get one <laughs> I ain't gonna be like that. Um, yeah, because also that wouldn't work, you know, middle of the day walking in the mall. Yeah, you, they're not gonna do that for you because um, people don't know what that shoe is. But aside from that, um, yeah, that's what I can say. There's not as many raffles as you would expect for this shoe. And with Foot Locker, all you gotta do is just go to footlocker.com slash release dates or literally just go, you gotta enter on the app. So make sure you just have the Foot Locker app and then boom, you can go check and see if you got a local Foot Locker near you that'll be getting these. Um, yeah, now I've seen this happen before with my local Foot Locker, so I don't know if this is gonna happen again. Sometimes it'll load up, you'll enter for the release, and then um, like day of, you know, when they're selecting raffle entries, they'll say this size isn't available, or you know, they'll say, hey, there isn't actually a raffle to shoot for the shoe. The raffle isn't happening. You know what I mean? Like, so I don't even know how they drop the shoe. Sometimes when the raffle just disappears or sizes become not available anymore, very very weird stuff with Foot Locker. But um, I mean, like again. If they're backdoor, I'm not knocking no hustle. Um, as long as you're just doing your job, you know what I mean? You're helping people out, then we're good. You know, that I don't care. You know, <laughs> get your money, you know? Aside from that, um, and yeah, you're selling product for Foot Locker. So, I mean, I don't I don't really think they care. Or Nike. De Nike definitely does not care. But um, yeah, that is what I can say. I'm going to link all the raffle locations I was discussing in this video. I'm going to link sneakers down below. Um, don't forget, when it comes down to copping on sneakers, I am going to say this. One particular tip. I'll give one tip for this video. So, 
Uh, with sneakers, they're not doing it via a draw. It's via first come, first serve. So you're basically going to want to be quick. Also, though, try making a new account. I've done this before sometimes with some of these hyped releases. Just get a friend, get someone you know that's not into sneakers, or do it yourself. Make an account with information that is that is not on any of your sneakers accounts that you have. Just make sure it has fresh info, like, you know, jigged address. I'll link an article on that down below also, but it's literally as simple as, like, in the address line two section, put in, like, room one. Or, like, describe, like, the color, of the color of the door in your house or, like, the car in front of your house and like color of that. Like, just got to basically put stuff that would describe the area around you, right, and put your actual address in address line one. So that's just, like, you know, how I could very simply put jigging. Um, but back to what I was saying. Literally just make a fresh account with fresh info and enter for this drop. And you'll actually have a chance of hitting pretty decent. I've seen a lot of new accounts take dubs. This is not, you know, just something that... uh I say out of nowhere. I've seen it on a lot of Travis Scott releases in particular, but Nike likes to give new accounts dubs. So make a, you know, make a couple new accounts and uh, try enter for this release. You know, you can use privacy cards. They connect straight to your debit card. And uh, yeah, you know, you can just generate a few of those. And yeah, if you hit, then you'll see it charge your card. So it's, it's as simple as that. You know what I mean? And uh, that's what I'm going to be doing for this release. You know, I'm going to try and make a couple fresh accounts, see if I can get the dub here. I'm not really going too crazy for this pair though, since I've mainly been focused on, um, a lot of the May drops we had, because a lot of the May drops are still selling so hot. So I'm like, hey, I'm just gonna focus on these. If people, if everybody's still is focused on my, you know, the stuff in May, then yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna go for these, but I'm not gonna go crazy for them. You know what I mean? Uh, so that's what I can mention. Really, my thoughts on the girl dads. Of course, they're a flip. Of course, you should put some focus towards them. Like I'm gonna enter for all the raffle locations I can today. Like I'll dedicate some time to that. But um, I'm not going crazy for them. You know what I mean? It still is a great pair. It still is a great flip. And yeah, that is what I can say. So don't miss out. June 7th, 10 a.m. Eastern time. I'm gonna be driving via first come first serve. I believe it's not a draw. I don't think it's a draw for this one, which is something a little bit different, but something I like. So again, don't forget to check out my project I got on the way here. If you like paying less for kicks follow this page stay tuned for the group slash little community i'm going to be creating here and uh if you have if you ever just want to do business with me check me out here I, i'm always posting stuff for sale in my story like used stuff brand new stuff new releases early stuff like you name it i'll be getting it and i'll be posting it and uh yeah having it for sale and if you ever want to trade with me i occasionally trade just not right now slow sewn a little bit down on that right now so just don't hit me up with trade offers as much at the moment but um if you ever want to buy or sell totally cool with that just hit me up in my dms i will definitely get back to you i've been trying to get be really good about that um i've been missing a couple messages i know but i'll try to be as consistent as possible so my apologies if i missed you but that is it i'm gonna end that screen recording i'm tristan thank you guys um all right i'm glad that saved yeah sometimes my screen recordings don't save and i have to redo the whole recording but this one was good so no errors there and i'm t thank you guys and i'll catch you all on the next one coming soon tomorrow peace